Good evening tonight from Kudjo Key, ground zero for Hurricane Irma, the small island here where the storm first made U.S. landfall. All of the keys were under mandatory evacuation when this hurricane hit, and we were here all day today as families began to return to see what is left. This is what they're seeing, miles and miles of destruction. New images just in showing homes shattered, nearly every one of them with major damage. People driving slowly this morning along the one road in, some waiting in line for more than 12 hours. Today, we traveled deep into the Keys with the military teams from both the Army and the Air Force leading the recovery effort here. Irma left a trail of destruction and flooding all across Florida and in Georgia, South Carolina, too. But tonight, it was very clear to us that here in the Keys, this was a monster hurricane when she hit. Today, we were allowed to travel all the way to Key West to survey the damage, working with the Air National Guard unit out of MacDill Air Force Base. Their job, to bring communications all the way down to Point South, to help search teams send their findings back, and to help crews bringing in much needed supplies in giving them the locations where to go. They're working together with an Army National Guard unit here. They have already witnessed the devastation. Homes that were placed with people were trying to shelter in place in their homes. Uh, it just was not uh, substantial for, for the type of, of weather that, that occurred here. It was not long before we witnessed the damage ourselves. Boats dropped in the middle of the highway, power lines down, roofs ripped off, gas stations destroyed. But we are still told the worst of the damage is further south. Martin Centerfit, the Monroe County Emergency Management Director, on the tarmac here where they are now accepting supplies. You've been out there. You have seen the damage and the devastation. What are we looking at here? You start getting down to mile marker 25, 24, 23, then you truly appreciate that a Category 4 hurricane passed over that area. Um, one out of every five houses is just destroyed in that area. And on our journey, we begin to see it. In this neighborhood, the first structure completely destroyed, the playground right beside it still standing. Further down the road, a car with its windows blown out. Families who live here will come home to rooftops from their neighbors, now in their front yards. The Castellanos family stayed here and survived the storm. They tell us they found pieces of their home across the neighborhood. The roof was like, again, like three houses down and the roofs, I think it's right there. And as we walk through, we see neighborhoods littered with trees, power lines everywhere you look. The mailbox in front of this home, a signal of the ferocity of the winds that came through here. And as we walk through the yards, we can see neighbors and their backyards, much of their property now right out in the open. But by far, the biggest concern here are the people who stayed behind who have not been accounted for. Do you have a sense at all if everyone survived this? So we know for a fact that there's at least um, four uh, identified and known casualties so far. And as we were driving through the Keys, we witnessed the search and rescue teams now going door to door this team from Gainesville. Their job to knock on those front doors. They tell us they have not found anyone yet. That team from Gainesville, we could see it in their faces. They now have that painful task of going door to door. That will continue for days to come. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.